Let's do this. Drink so dang much, I'm saying shape, sir. Need some help, partner? Yeah, okay. Sure. All right, then. Get comfortable. Hope the water ain't too hot. Whoops, don't mind me. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. Oh, yeah. So how's it going? Good enough. Sorry for smell. Been a while. There are no secrets with you, huh? So, what do you do when you're not working? Drinking and smoking take up a lot of my time. Oh, you're very professional. You're a real charmer, kid. I've had quite the run of bad luck recently. Sorry to hear that. Anyway, I'll stop boring you now. No need to apologize, sweetheart. This is just what you needed, huh? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get much cleaner than this. Thank you. You were a real pleasure. Hey, move it! Hey there. Get out of here. Calm down.
good, girl. I really can't... I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be... Well, it's gonna be violent. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? <clears throat> okay, bring us over. We good? Uh -huh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. There's a guard right there. I'll deal with him. I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Ah, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Oh. Wait, shit. I don't think that 
was gone. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay. Come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Keep moving! Where is he? You see him? No! You! Mister! You know John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now! <laughs> Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go uh, and get him together. Uh, uh, Try anything and I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Hey, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. <laughs> oh, God. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on! March him straight up to the front gate! You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Hold your fire! Oh, my God. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sorry. very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, uh, faster. 14, 15. Hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on! Don't cry, buddy. I don't wanna die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. No funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go. Let's <laughs> Let's move! Go! 
Okay, let's go! Here comes some more! Get down! Been a while, John! Seems to need rescue in Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep the... I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! 
They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told, Dan. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real. Oh, somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about... The, the money. Lost oh, somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It was the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Grids, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And? When Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Thinking of, uh, 
I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Things are gonna be okay, Jack. Can I go play in the caves? No. I ain't safe in there. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Okay. I wish people would stop. Hi, Sadie. All right there, Arthur. Hey. Hey, Arthur. Can we talk? I don't have much to say to you right now. Well, guess I'll leave you to it then. Whatever you say. Yeah. Hey, Tilly. Hi, Arthur. You doing all right? What is going on with you all? You're acting like children. We're trying to work it out. Don't know what to do with myself around here. I did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Well, try to keep your head straight. Yes, yes. It just seems like we're making a whole lot of trouble. What? No real reason. Take it easy with that stuff. This is taking it easy. Problem is. I ain't sure he cares who he's fighting no more. Can't kill everyone. Mr. Morgan? So, now what are the Hi, Uncle. Scheming about now, huh? You goddamn traitors. You? You were nothing but a street rat when he found you. He believed in you when no other son of a bitch would. Huh? And him? You ain't been nothing but a bad apple from the start. You ain't even been with us a full year and you think you know better. Hi there. And you? Well, you're the lowest of the lot. Ungrateful sons of bitches. All of you. You'll get what's coming to you. Reverend. Hello, Mr. Morgan. You're looking well. I feel better than I have in a long time. Oh, hi, Arthur. Mr. Pearson. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Ah, I hear you. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Sure, might as well make some money off it. Thank you, Arthur.
You're a brave girl. Ah, you good girl? Javier. Hey. Who's that Help. coming? Hey, boy. boy. One of them would hurt our... Okay then, girl. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's my girl. <laughs> there, girl. You're all right. Taking this one in. Stay out of our way. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. <laughs> you make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. 
Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Ah, would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. Got away. I told you it was fast. Anyway, my turn. Come on, come on. Yes! I hit it! I hit it, didn't I? <laughs> what can I say? Thank you. I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Well, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> it was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. <laughs> then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself Picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. 
Please take care and remain true to the man I know you are.